All right. So another episode here. I love these chats, Raj. We're getting to see what you're doing out there. He's in Tokyo right now and covering the Olympics. And so you're literally today is your Friday. Today's your Friday. <gasps> Happy Friday. My first Friday in Tokyo. <laughs> and so you're you're getting ready for the opening ceremony. Oh my gosh, you must be so busy. This is a big deal. This is this is I mean, this is what it's all about. This is when regardless of all the political issues, all the health issues, this is when everyone gets excited. You're a little nervous. Yeah, I'm excited to see just what we're going to see. Right. All of us and all of our NBC crews getting ready to go. We're leaving the hotel, uh, heading out to the stadium and do our new uh, and our work. Space, so. Nice. OK, so you're on your way there. And this is I mean, this is happening. This is happening. And how many hours for you? It, oh gosh, it's going to be in like 12 hours from now, but we're, oh. prepping. we're early. Everything in the Olympics, you got to do early. Actually, not For 12, sure. eight hours from now. I'm not good in math, eight hours from now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk math anymore then. But okay, that's cool. So you're going to be there. Oh, like, do you have to like secure a spot or something? Because there's going to be a lot of journalists for sure. Yeah, we have to, we have to secure a spot. We have to, yeah, it's, there's so many rules here. Anytime you're in an Olympic city, there's a lot of rules, a lot of waiting around, uh, but we're all good. It's all worth it. We'll be there with bells and whistles. No one else will be there. The stadium will be empty, but we'll be there. I know. That's going to be so weird, especially for you that you've covered so many. It's just going to be like a completely different experience. But I was looking on your Facebook um, account, and you you kind of scared me there a little bit because I'll pull it up here. You said um, you were chatting, you know, doing your Facebook Live, and you said um, you're asking a question, Olympics might be canceled, question mark. And I was like, <gasps> is what what's going on why why is that is that the talks out there i mean are people talking and saying that yeah it's not just regular people the actually head of the japanese olympic committee said it's a possibility if this is unsafe so there's a if there's a huge uptake of cases of positive covid cases within the athletes they could cancel it i don't think it's going to happen now he said that about a day and a half ago um, but now um full speed ahead i think we're going forward with this but you still have to keep in mind that if there, if this becomes a super spreader event, that they could cancel the games. Health is first. Health comes yes. first. Right now, we have about 100 positive cases for people associated with the Olympics. But remember, there's about 75,000 people here for the Olympics. 100 in 75,000, relatively small. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. But you scared me there, Raj. I was like, <laughs> and I, I answered, I was like, what's going on here? Um, but more things that I've seen on your social here is you took a picture right in front of that awesome, you know, picturesque looking, you know, with the rings and everything. But then you're saying you chatted it up with Mike and he's going to have some sort of like he knows the tone for the opening ceremony. Talk to me. What did he say? Yeah, Mike Tirico, NBC Sports and Savannah Guthrie, the Today Show, they're co-hosting the, the opening ceremony. And look, this isn't a normal opening ceremony where it's all smiling and pomp and circumstance they said they're actually gonna you know they're they're gonna really respect what's happening around the world with the pandemic they're gonna honor and remember the people who have died of covid not just here in japan but globally so it'll be a little different tone is what mike was telling me the tone will be different but it's not going to be a debbie downer it, it's going to be something where we can just appreciate that we're all going through this together they're, we're not hiding anything right? none of us are hiding anything we're all experiencing this around the world in terms of covid yeah, coming together in that way. Well, we're going to be looking out for that. Next time I talk to you, Raj, the opening ceremony would have already happened. So I'm excited for that. Best of luck. I'm going to keep up with you. And guys, please follow Raj on all her socials at Raj Mathai. Raj, talk to you tomorrow. Okay, thanks, Abby. Oh, and next time I talk to you, I think we're going to do a little bit about 7-Eleven here in Tokyo. Oh, it's please. phenomenal. It's I've been phenomenal. wanting to ask you about that. <laughs> Let's leave that talk, for tomorrow then. All right, Raj. Talk to you soon, Abby.